Greetings, Lego friends. Uh, been a while since I posted a video and I got a lot of little things going on. We've got a bit of uh, Lego hauls. I got my dream set right here. Unbelievable. Uh, we got some other stuff going on in the Lego room that's a little different. And then, um, yeah, we got to talk about some stuff. So from the thumbnail, you might be wondering, what in the world are we seeing Walgreens boxes for? Well, let me show you something. As Fire Marshal Bill would say, right now, strangely enough, the hottest set out there is a city set. All right, just my opinion. But uh, if you're building a little city like I am, and uh, you can't just afford every modular in the world, you can afford some cool city sets and you can add to them and do stuff with them. Now, I don't know if this is going to be true or not. In the long run, we shall see. But right now, the city grocery store is the hot ticket. Oh, look at this thing. Set 60347 grocery store, right? You might say, yeah, well, big deal. Well, I'll tell you what. Go out and try to find one. Because uh, it's about impossible. Pretty certain that this thing is nowhere in the retail stores. I called a Lego store, and without me saying much, just asking if the fellow had one, he said, nope, it is retired and we're not getting any. And I was shocked and amazed because this thing, just like the farmer's market van, is about six months old, right? And it is out of stock at lego.com. It is, I've never seen it actually in a retail store where I live. Walmart, Fred Meyer, uh, even our Bricknology store we have, nothing. So where did I find it? Walgreens. So I'm telling you, if you're interested in this, I think might right now might be the time to get it. It's $70 retail, and you're probably going to pay that now. But I've seen uh, one on eBay is going for $80. The next one's $90. That's just shocking, huh? Who knew? So yeah, I went to walgreens.com, free shipping, and uh, ordered a few of these bad dogs. I might see if I can't combine this with um, maybe a noodle shop or something and try to build it up into a um, bigger, um, not a full modular, you know, but something in the city that looks cool, you know? Look at that thing. Pretty cool. So that's what the thumbnail is all about. Who knew? Walgreens dot com for your city grocery store do a little research and tell me if you think i'm wrong because i'm the guy that pointed out to someone else recently on uh, facebook that this thing's only been out six months and i was not going to be convinced that it's retiring and i'm still not but um wow if this thing retired already it's just six months out there that's crazy uh, what else is going on? So, not sure if I talked about it in another video. I could have just looked, but uh, I didn't. But yeah, I have a. Um, we have an office downstairs, and it's kind of a hobby room area. And I have a um, a table down there where I used to work on models, model cars, model airplanes, model rockets, which is really my thing is model rockets. And I noticed I haven't done anything like that in years. Now, a couple of reasons for that are the evil cats, of course. You know, their single goal in life is just to get on my hobby tables and shed as much fur as they possibly can so that I can't even recognize what it is that I was doing. Now, a couple bits of interest. The cats were my daughters, and so they have moved on. They've uh, moved out. No more evil cats. And I miss them. But in the meantime, I thought, you know, I can't do model rockets up here in the Lego room because it involves sanding fins and creates a lot of dust. But I could get back to a model car I worked on or started working on long ago. It's a 1 16th scale Lamborghini. And I've got the body painted in pearl blue. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, it's coming along really well. Pretty pleased with it. And as soon as I cleared off this little space, I already made progress here on it. Um, I uh, got the seats ready for some more paint. I've got some of the interior done now. So I'm making progress there. But more importantly, on to 
the really good news. Well, let's see if you can guess what it is. What could it possibly be? It has all of these parts. It has something like 1,000 and some odd uh, parts. I don't know. I'm not even sure if that belongs. There's no Spider-Man in Star Wars that I know of. But this will sell it for you right there. Kabam! Yep, you guessed it. I got me an Ewok village. Oh, yes, life is good. Local seller, uh, willing to wheel and deal, um, but did not have the Leia figure. Now, I know that's about 70 bucks for a Leia figure, but I'm okay with that. This is a dream set for me. I scoffed at it when it was in stores because I was not a fan of Ewoks. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I've wanted it for a lot of years. There's all the, all the parts there. I had to actually take the whole thing up, apart. I bought it complete, put together. No instructions, no box, and no Leia. Um, but I got it. Uh, $300 is what I paid, even. Uh, and then all these parts I washed over a couple days. And I think they're looking real good. I am really happy to have this thing. Who would have thought? Um... I'm going to probably build it using the lego.com instructions online. I think I've already downloaded them, actually. So I will build this thing and show you guys um, what it looks like. And then I, I'm going to have to get Leia, of course. And then what I really hope to do is add to it, right? Uh, I think that'd be cool. Keep building on to it. Make a really big uh, indoor village area, if you will. Then, uh, meantime, a couple other uh, Lego hauls. I bought... One of the most expensive singular parts for something that I've ever bought, um, perhaps. I mean, I guess I've paid more for instructions and stuff, but this is kind of silly. Check this thing out. For the Brick Bank, it is the check for the contest winner, uh, $500 on the check. Not what it cost me. Uh, but yeah, this guy was about $14. bucks. who would have thought? Um, you got to have it, you know, the Brick Bank. I think this is a, a key part. So I got it off BrickLink. Pretty happy to do that. Whenever I place an order with BrickLink, I try to fill it up for the shipping. So I got some more masonry bricks. And I got some more trans blue tiles. Yahoo! So those will add on to the pile. I've got quite a good pile of masonry bricks going now. A lot of trans blue stuff going on as well. That will be for my ocean area if I ever get to it. Oh, yeah, and then I got uh, these little uh, fellers off of eBay there. A couple pirates. Look at that. Um, that female pirate is fantastic. I mean, she'll tell you when you're through. And I've got some, you know, females that'll go on my pirate, uh, you know, scenes. But look at her. She's got an eye patch. she got a sword. Um, yeah, that is cool. That's on eBay. Oh, and these are from sets from long ago. You know, four digits were the um, the numbers of those those sets. That's how long ago they were. So that's pretty cool. And they're, um, they're new in great shape. So pretty excited about that. So yeah, Ewok Village. I just have to clean up this a little bit, wash these tiles for the bridge, and then I will start getting this thing assembled. I really can't wait. I, I don't want to leave it um, laying around. I really want to build it. Um, I think it's just going to be really cool. It's got some neat little stuff that's inside the trees. It's got little hidden things. Um, in different areas. Uh, just cool. I love it. 17 minifigs for that Ewok village. And I've got 16 and just missing Leia. There's Luke. He looks great. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, some of what's been going on up here in the Lego room. Lots of activity. Lots going on uh, up here. Uh, I will do an unboxing soon for this Minecraft Illager Raid. I've opened it already, but I did that long ago um, just to swipe a part out of it, which was silly because I could have just got that part somewhere else. Uh, and then I put it back in there I, when I got it, replaced that part and it's in there. But we'll open that, take a look at it, and then, um, yeah, we'll open up uh, that little set there that I bought. Uh, yeah, very good. So that's what's going on here in the Lego room. More updates coming soon. Uh, more progress and some unboxings. So I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you all are having a good one and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.